guys, got a little bit of water on the camera. So I take the opportunity to dip me buff and hat in the water. Ah, oh, so refreshing.
tell you what, this is one hell of a workout. I feel it in the old shoulders, that's for sure. I'm hoping by the end of this trip I'll lose a couple of kilos too. Just through not eating as much and burning off all that excess energy. fairly heavy lump at the moment about 125 kilograms so I really need to drop down to about 100 I decided to go with the old uh, shorts today. I've got some uh, new sunscreen. Uh, it's SPF 50 plus, but it's like a, a deodorant can. It's spray on, so I was a bit iffy on it. I have to say it, it works bloody well. My arms are out in the sun for like what six, seven hours solid yesterday. No burn at all. Uh, yeah, it definitely does a job, so I caked it on the old legs. My legs have kind of got a bit of a tan happening anyway, because I uh, usually ride my motorbike in summertime in shorts. old legs just get burnt after burn after burn and it's just gotten to the point now where it doesn't really burn as much all right looks like campsite 29 there keep that in mind because that probably looks like a decent little campsite. I reckon it's better than the last one I was at, that's for sure. The only thing I'm iffy on is those big old trees, but uh, they don't look dead very much. The majority of the dead part is hanging over the water. So I reckon it'll wouldn't be a bad little camping spot. Nice shade, fire pit. Easier to get on and off the kayak than the last bloody site, that's for sure. not very deep either. Perfect little spot. Uh, I 
definitely keep this in mind. If I went with that campsite, I could probably do this whole run, maybe two days. Oh, it is a fair distance to travel, so I think three days is probably a better option. And you get more time to sit back and enjoy it all. Keep that in mind for one of the longer runs. If anyone's got any suggestions or recommendations, anything like that, drop them in the comments. It's always interesting hearing what other people have to say. I decided to go with a uh, fairly lightweight setup. Yeah, Zempire Adam, uh, little tent, one man, does the job, it's got a uh, 10,000 waterhead rating, which means that you can basically pour a bucket on it and it won't go through, uh, I've got the uh, Cedar Summit Trek 2 sleeping bag, the minus 2 one, because it does get a bit chilly out here in the bush. Um, yeah, no complaints with that. That seems to do the job as well. Because uh, of me bad back, I picked up one of the uh, Cedar Summit uh, Comfort Sleeping Mat, the SI. Um, yeah, I have to admit that does a pretty good job as well. I do wake up with a sore back. Um, that's inevitable, but certainly makes it easier. I remember the first time I went camping after I'd done my back and I used one of those uh, rubber foam mats. The thing squashed up like paper thin, especially with my weight at 125 kilos. 
Yeah, woke up and bloody hell, I could barely move. So I thought, alright, I'll, I'll invest in one of these sleeping mats and yeah, I'm really happy with it. Uh, what else did I get? I got one of the uh, Black Wolf uh, self inflating pillows. I have to admit, that's really handy too. You can uh, generally be pretty comfortable and get some kind of sleep. That's good too because you can have it firm or soft, however you like it. I brought myself a uh, dry sack. That's basically full of uh, spare change of clothes and some thermals and stuff like that. Not that I really need it, but you never know, it might come in handy. Um, bought 12 litres of water with me. And I've also got a, uh, a life straw, which will filter out all the bad stuff from the water and the dirt and all that crap. So if I really have to, I can uh, drink this water and know that I'm going to survive if I get lost or whatever. Something happens to me. Also brought plenty of food with me. I like 15 cliff bars. Uh, a couple of dehydrated food packs. Some beef jerky. Bought myself uh, four potatoes wrapped in foil. dinner for tonight and one for breakfast in the morning. to make sure I didn't lose me shit in the drink. Alrighty. Yeah, so uh, what else did I bring? I bought myself just a bit of cooking gear. Electronics in a dry bag, some phone, got me wallet and keys in there. Um, got a little uh, Sony X Space speaker, it was uh, 75 bucks. That was pretty cool, the kangaroo just jumping through the water like that. Uh, yes, yeah, a Sony uh, speaker, which I have to admit is great, just sitting there by the campfire at night. It's nice to just listen to some tunes and, and relax. Um, and I got me GoPro on me camera, do some filming and whatnot. Um, I got an Impossibles bag, which is just full of stuff that might come in handy. Uh, like Multi tool and Got a first aid kit and um, space blanket and bits and bobs. Just little little things that might might come in handy in a general survival situation. Um, that's that's basically it. Got me life jacket, my PD PFD or whatever it's called. It's got uh, pockets and stuff on it, so I can keep like fishing gear and. Um, a bit of food or something like that in it. Got a knife in there too at all times. Just you never know when a knife's going to come in handy. Yeah, 
there, so that's pretty much the rundown of my gear. Oh, and I've got a map of this reserve, so I can figure out where I'm going. Because there's, there's creeks and stuff that run all through this place. I have to admit, this has uh, been a brilliant little camping trip so far. I've not seen one person yet. I uh, took a few days off work and left on the Monday. Crack it on Monday morning. I plan to be back Wednesday night. So, I've more than likely missed everyone if there was anyone coming up this way. Looks a bit iffy up here. Friggin' trees and shit all over the place. 